Here is a vintage photograph of downtown Bryn Athen. You may recognize several of the structures, like the inn where Tom and Nina Klein's house is now. Here is a vintage photograph of the same house and another. And here is a more modern picture of the same house. And over here is Kinky's house, the home of Hubert and Karina Hyatt. Here's a more modern picture of that. And here is an old home that stood on the site where Louis and Freya King's house was. Down in the yard is the spring house underneath the sycamore tree. Here is a vintage photograph of the same site and a contemporary shot of the home. The Lawings and the Odners live there today. And here is a house hiding in the trees. It's where Bill and Barbara Buick live now. And here is the home called Stancott, the current home of Brian and Sandra Odner. Here is a vintage shot of the same house. And over here is the Botchnik House, formerly owned by Dan and Betty Eccles at 2700 South Avenue. This white house over Stancott is the one I mean. And here is a contemporary photo of it. But what is this house off in the distance? I think it's where Garth and Donette Glenn used to live. And what about this little road off to the right? I will try to show you why I think that it is Alden Road. And if that is Alden Road, then this over here must be Woodland Road or what will become Woodland Road. And what of these houses off in the distance? I think that is Seth and Shannon Pendleton's house on the left and Heather McCurdy's house on the right. Here's a contemporary shot of the Pendleton house. And here is Heather McCurdy and Glenn Titter's house. And what about that home way off in the distance, beyond those houses? That, I believe, is the Hollowell Mansion. Here's a contemporary shot of that. And here is an old map that shows the Hollowell Mansion. And if you look way off in the distance to the right of the Hollowell Mansion, you will see a smokestack. I'll bet that that is at the waterworks at Welsh Road and Pennypack Creek. And what of these two houses? I will try to demonstrate why I think they belong to the Friesens and the Lindruths. When I showed this old photograph to my dad, he said, Oh, the view from the cathedral. I think it is too but I'd like to demonstrate that. Using Google Earth, I drew a line from the cathedral to the Hollowell Mansion. Here's another picture of the Friesen and Linderuth homes on Alden Road. That red line cuts right between the two houses. And here are the Pendleton and the McCurdy houses. Guess what? The same line cuts right through them. Remember this smokestack way off in the distance? I drew a line from the cathedral to that. From the cathedral tower to the waterworks at Welsh Road by the creek. Here is another view of the site of Bill and Barbara Buick's house. 
the red line to the smokestack cuts right through it. Here's the shot of Betty Eccles' house again on South Avenue. It lines up perfectly with the home in the distance that I think used to belong to Garth and Donette Glenn. And here's another red line from the cathedral through the Bochnik Eccles home on South Avenue and ending up at the house that I think used to belong to Donette and Garth Glenn. This is all lining up perfectly and helps demonstrate that the photograph was taken from the cathedral tower. Using the same lines, I can now conclude that that road right there is Alden Road. And if that is Alden Road, then this has to be Woodland Road, or what will become Woodland Road. The end. Thanks for listening. Please let me know if you find any holes in my logic.